Glowbugs. <laughs> Welcome to another Friday Friday. Today I've been asked by a lot of people to do something simple of good old yarn glowbug. It's winter, coming into winter, so these are killer. Catch you lots of fish. So I'm going to show you how I do them and a little tip and trick on how you can use a good old broken pen to make life a lot easier with making these glow bugs. So I'm going to be using a B110 grubber hook. You can tie them in any size you like. You can just change the amount of material you put through this tool to um, create the size fly you need. But we're just going to do a nice easy one for the demonstration. Size 10. And, um, be a good one for you guys to learn on. So, my high recommendation on which glow bug yarn to use would be McFly Foam. So this one is Early Girl, <coughs> and I'm also going to use uh, this bright red. But you can use a combination of colours. There's even the clown one, which is you can buy it, and it comes like this. But it's a mixture of colours all together from the get go. <coughs> But we're just going to use these two, and the secret tip, a broken pen. So, just get the clear tube, bit of a pen, decent sized pen, and this is going to be a key easy tool to make life easier for you. Alright, so let's get started. Also going to use some uh, 6 six o fucking... Red Vivas, but you can use whatever thread you like. So to start with, get our McFly Foam Early Girl, and we just want one little strip of it, one strand, like yay, okay. Grab yourself a, a chunk of that. Then, half the length of that, we get some of this bright red McFly foam. So we'll just cut a half length strip of that. Okay, now this is too much. So we want to shear this, just a strip of it, a small strip of it, maybe a third of that. And just pull that out. So you got a nice little strip. And then what we want to do, hold that other one in half, put your red one on the crease, wherever, just on the side of it. So then you've got a nice little strip of red through your uh, peachy sort of colour. Then what we do, so we grab our bobbin threading tool and we stick that in there. So the big open end. And then chuck your McFly foam combination into that. And pull that through. A little bit tight at the end, that's right, just be gentle. And out she comes. So now you've got this. It's all kept in there. 
nice and ready to use. So you can make this as long as you want, you know what I mean? So you can, um, depending on how many flies you want to tie. Alright, so we've got that tool, that's prepped, ready to go. You can make a bunch of these with a bunch of different colours in it. Make life super easy. Alright, let's get to tying. Alright, so get that uh, B110 grubber in it. Screwed them up, just back from the eye touch. You just want to stop it in the middle there somewhere. All good. Now, so you want to make sure you're red. Or whatever colour you got for your spot in the middle is on top. So we put that on there. And we just tie that in. Just a few turns. And bring that out. Cool. Now you want to make sure the two your red strips match together. Ideally. And then we just want to figure out it. It's also not a bad idea just to give that a snip and get it out of the way. And a few figgies. And round and round a couple of times like you would a pair. So, yep, pretty well together. And we just want to whip finish at this point. One, two, three. I like to do a couple. Two, three. Easy peasy. Snip that off. If you want, you can put some glue on the thread. Up to you. So now once you've got that, grab all that together with your red dot in the middle, pull up hard on it. And I like to just do a bit of a curved cut, like so. And we've got a nice little, see it puffs out to a bit of a ball already. But all we do from there is just shape it around the hook as much as you can, there will always be a bit of a gap underneath that doesn't matter just here yeah, with your fingers just mould it into the shape you want, which is generally a round ball That's all there is to it. Um, it's been a long time since I've tied these, so this one's probably not perfect, but it's perfectly good to go fishing with. I'll fish this all day, no problem. And uh, yeah, happy tying. Like I say, you can do it in all sorts of different colours and whatnot. Um, but yeah, it's winter. Good time for them. You guys asked for it, and here it is. If you have any other. Um, if you have any flies you want to know how to tie and stuff, drop them in the comments and I can try and make that happen. Always looking for uh, more ideas to do on what people are wanting to see. This is bloody good. Alright, well, there you go. Enjoy. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Check us out on Facebook, TroutFixNZ, and Instagram, TroutFixNZ. Cool, but yeah, be sure to hit that subscribe button and we'll catch you on the next one. Cool, thank you.